Giant joystick, Polaroid photo booth, pre-order for Marvel Pinball and a new Street Fighter 2 bundle version. Let's check it out. Hey guys, thanks for tuning to Toycade for a quick update video in the home arcade world. Looks like GameStop has just revealed the products from Arcade1UP that will be available in November, December this year. And there were a few interesting products. Some we've seen before at CES, but in a slightly different version. A completely arcade unrelated product. And of course, the pinball pre-orders are available. Let's firstly look at the surprise of the reveals. The Polaroid photo booth. I actually came across this information last month and thought it was a mistake because why would tastemakers be making a Polaroid product? It just didn't make sense to me, so I kind of ignored it. But after seeing GameStop pre-orders confirm it's true, I guess RK1UP is expanding their portfolio beyond home arcade as we've seen with the Infinity game table and now the Polaroid photo booth. On the GameStop website, you can see there are two versions available for pre-order, the red and white. Both are $3.99 with a release date of December 12th. Yeah. This isn't really related to arcade, so I'm going to go straight to the issue with this product, the price. How can a Polaroid camera be $399? No dimension details are provided, but it doesn't look that big. The only information I have on this product outside of GameStop is the official tastemaker's description. Make everywhere your photo booth. Transform any table, desk or wall into your very own Polaroid photo booth. Combining old school nostalgia with modern features, you can capture and print instantly anywhere and everywhere. So go ahead, strike a pose, snap a pic, turn your favorite moments into real memories that are truly unique and truly yours. I can confirm this device is Wi-Fi enabled, so potentially this could be integrated with Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram to enable you to upload photos directly to those and also print them out. But for 3 dollars I'm confused about this one, and it doesn't remotely resemble a photo booth. Let's talk about the giant joystick. Let's revisit one of the classic moments of CES 2020, which probably is responsible for the new version of this product that we see right now. Yes, it seems Retro Ralph had too much fun with the prototype giant Pac-Man joystick that it had to be redesigned without a mouth. And I must say, this thing looks nothing like Pac-Man. We all know Pac-Man has black eyes and a huge mouth to eat all those nasty ghosts. From the second picture, it looks like that they're using the same technology as the HDMI game console that is now available at Target. You can see this with the main console unit. So potentially you can use the controllers from the HTML console on the giant joystick or vice versa. I believe these will be running the console version of the games included and at the moment the games list has not been provided but looking at the limitation that comes with such a huge joystick, I doubt many games will be included. The second version available for pre-order is the Disney giant joystick. Now this one I find appealing, not for me but for my kids. My kids love Mickey Mouse so they can relate to this product, possibly play it in a more PG manner. Clearly this version of the product is targeting kids because all kids can relate to Disney but Pac-Man on the other hand, that's a different story. Again, no details other than the price is available for this product. As I mentioned in my CES video, this is definitely a functional furniture that will stand out in any games room and will be fun at parties. I understand the Disney version if they are targeting kids and getting them into gaming which makes perfect sense but the Pac-Man one, it's a pass for me and let's be honest, after seeing this version, the prototype version looks heaps better and really represented Pac-Man, while this one is more Pac-Man's ugly sister, and you know who to thank for that. The final product is not really a reveal, but more of a confirmation of a release date for the digital pinball that everyone has been repeatedly asking John D on the Facebook fan page. It's November the 25th. Although this is only for Marvel and not Star Wars or Attack from Mars, but you can assume that those will be available for pre-order soon from other retailers if they are exclusive. Let's face it, the Pinball RK Wars is real, and at this very moment, there are no products available on the market. The only previously available product was a Toy Shock Haunted House, which has now sold out. With version 1.2 reportedly due around the same time, I'm confident Toy Shop will have their product available and will be the cheapest as it's a no frills, no bells and whistle product on the market and yes, it will have flipper lag issues and limited games available. But the other anticipated pinball product to come is from At Games and at this stage, it's just vaporware. A lot of hype from its affiliated YouTubers with spreadsheets and talk but we have yet to see any images of the product. The only supposedly picture of the pinball is a watermark product on their website, which surprisingly looks very, very similar to a Toy Shop pinball. And we already know the At Games Legend pinball will have all 22 Goblins titles that can be found on the Toy Shop loaded onto their table. So there could be some direct relationship between these two products, who knows. 
but since we are already in October and they claim this will have Wi-Fi enabled, which means they need to pass the FCC test ASAP for the product to be available for Christmas. So back to the Marvel pinball. So there is nothing new and actually absolutely no details or specification on the GameStop page other than the release date, the price and new pictures. One that includes a one-armed guy playing pinball. Not sure how that is possible. And next to him is a girl who is super excited with launching the ball. Mm, great photo editing skills. So anyone pre-ordering this pinball will be ordering it blind. But someone named Zero Hero did ask the question on what tables will be included. And an hour ago, I believe Scott Backrack, the CEO of Tastemakers, did respond with the following. There will be mini tables included from the Zen Studios Marvel Library. However, due to licensing restrictions, the tables cannot be announced, publicly discussed in promotional materials or listed on packaging. We guarantee you will still love the Marvel Virtual Pin tables included. So potentially all the delays with the pinball could be licensing related. It is unclear if they are still retaining the existing announced 24 inch HD screen and the 8 inch LCD screen on the back glass. And the price of $549 is a bit of a surprise since they did mention that they were targeting closer to $500 and, and now without Wi-Fi you would have thought that would be more achievable. Keep in mind the At Games Legends pinball is set to retail for $599 and it does have a 32 inch screen and a 14 inch LCD back screen. And the features included is impressive. So everyone is keen on more information on the At Games Legends Pinball if it ever gets announced. But one thing for sure with the At Games Legends Pinball you will have is a lot of bugs. So expect that frustrating experience. All right guys, that's all for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you pre-ordered the Marvel Pinball without knowing any details or games included. And if the photo booth or giant joystick is something that you'll be interested in. Before I end this video, I wanna share one exclusive news I've been told that RK1UP is re-releasing Street Fighter 2 in a bundle edition that is now in hand in one of its retailers. I can't disclose which retailer, but this will include the license riser that possibly is the same license riser that was released last year in one package. I don't have any details on what upgraded hardware will be included, but I expect the latest monitor and possibly joystick and buttons, which will be a huge improvement from Wave 1. And no, I believe this is not Wi-Fi enabled. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you do hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing to support the channel as always stay safe and thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one see ya